Hi, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to texture a landscape using Megascan textures quite easily with OpenLand's uh, landscape tools. Uh, here with OpenLand, we have the OpenLand uh, texture manager for Megascan. So with that, we can easily, uh, for example, select the ground layer. I can select a texture from Megascan. This is a texture that I downloaded into my project. So I can see a preview over here. Then I can simply hit select. Now you can see it apply on to my landscape over here. This is an open world landscape. You can see I can select these individual components. Right then you can see there are some a little bit of texture repetition over here. You can uh, go to the uh, texture variation support uh, sliders and increase a little bit of rotation influence. Right now you can see it's uh, yeah this uh, like repetition is almost gone. Uh, sometimes it might be not visible with the YouTube uh, compression algorithm, but there are there were some repetition now it's gone i can move closer still there are some uh, repetition i think i can increase the v scale in uh, variation as well a little bit increase the scale influence right and also we have a tint variation i can increase that little bit as well right and i think now it looks pretty nice right likewise you you can uh, select individual uh, layer slope area and uh, simply uh, texture your landscape with megascan textures I have a separate video on how to use this tool. If you want to learn more about this tool, just uh, have a look at that video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to enable this tool for open world maps. Before we continue, we need to have OpenLand installed to your project and check the description below on how you can get OpenLand into your project even for free. Right now, let's create a new level and yeah, let's start uh, enabling this tool. First, I'm gonna go to file, new level. I'm going to select the empty open world map. So I don't want to save anything over here. Right. Then I need to have some sort of light system. Uh, in open land, we have a simple way to do that. Go to open land, blueprints. And here we have an actor called sun sky. So it will simply add a decent sun and sky setup. Right. Then I'm going to go to select mode, uh, landscape. And here I'm going to select import from file. Here I'm, I have prepared height map. So I'm going to use that. But you can use your own height map or simply create a landscape and carry on. But in this case, if you want to use this height map, just check the description below. Right, I'm going to select this height map. Right, then if you go a little bit up, you can see these uh, yellow grids. So basically, the, those are the individual components. I think I don't need that many components. I can increase this world partition grid size, uh, let's say 10. So now I don't have that many uh, components. So basically, this 10 number is the number of... Uh, cells over here you can see this, there are greens 10 cells for each side of this yellow uh, cell ah uh, yeah got it uh, so that's the that this number is right then i can select my material in this case since i'm using open land i'm gonna use the mi underscore open land theme default and then i can simply hit uh, yeah import and it will take some time right then you will see uh, like a the black screen like this that's totally fine go to the paint section select the uh, paint layer or the forest uh, select uh, lay info file then now you have the your landscape uh, with yeah with open land uh, yeah it looks nice so then i'm gonna select the select mode and i'm gonna close the landscape mode then uh, we can save this file Sometimes you might have a landscape created with world partition already. Then if you want to assign the open land as the landscape material, here's how to do that. Select your landscape and also select your all of your streaming proxies. You might have to load all of your streaming proxies, maybe uh, in uh, segments. And then uh, go to the details panel and search for material. And then you need to select the mi op underscore open land theme default as your landscape material and then uh, you need to go to the paint section again and assign the layer info now let's open our widget that we can uh, use to texture our landscape quite easily go to open land widgets and here we have a widget called open land mega scan texture selector widget right click and select run ed editor utility widget then you will see a widget like this um, then you can dock it to anywhere you like before we use that we need to do one important thing so you need to select your landscape and also all of your streaming proxies go to the details panel search for use dynamic material instance simply select this and uh, you might have to save your project again now you can simply start painting your landscape with megascan textures so here's how to do that 
first I'm gonna select my ground layer and I already downloaded some mega scan textures I think I'm gonna use this one right now you can see the normal map roughness map and the displacement map if this uh, roughness map and the displacement map is sort of black I'll try to hit the reload textures button and it will try to yeah, reload it again sometime it's black then I can simply hit the select button now you can see this texture simply applied to my landscape and here uh, we can see some uh, texture repetition we can easily fix that by increasing the texture variation uh, in rotation influence by a little bit right uh, yeah now it's almost gone likewise there are some settings over here i have a separate video on how to do that check the description below to learn more about how to use this tool for this tutorial i'm gonna stop over here uh, so now i can uh, play my game uh, alter p right now you have your landscape textures with mega scan so it's just for the ground layer but uh, still it looks nice so likewise you can uh, simply change anything uh, in your landscape all right uh, that's it for today i'll see you soon with something interesting bye